Hey, what's up, guys? This is T-Bone here. Welcome to our uh, Thursday stream where we're going to be doing some life deck building and also going to be taking a look at some of your uh, your cards here so we can see what is uh, what, what are some of the things that we can do. And just going to say uh, hi to everybody in the chat here, uh, seeing the Reaper, Anderson, and also Duppy, Rebel, me, myself, Yellow 100, Matt, Heath, BT and Ben Rutherford, welcome to the stream. And also I see Hanske, Don, and Brent, and Murderous Phaser. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thanks for joining us here today. Hoping everybody has a uh, has had a good event so far. And we're going to be talking about, you know, the cards themselves. We're going to talk about some of the ideas I have come up with. I think, you know, Dark Slayer's event is one of those events where you actually have a bit more options than some of the other ones. And so I wanted to make sure that I highlight them a little bit so that we could talk about uh, sort of the possibilities because that is going to help you a lot with your bosses. We are also going to talk about uh, ultimate bosses for any of you that have the uh, Bio Blitzer deck. That is the deck to use for uh, for ultimates rather than this particular event deck. And so uh, let's take a look and uh, see here. Also, I see um, got Kiko and Nano as well as Noelia. And uh, Alamsa, Candy, and Casey Freeman, Mount Fillmore, Gumpy, and Shismar. Welcome. Thanks. I see a lot of new names here. I'm just really, uh, really happy to be here with you guys. And so first things first, I wanted to uh, go in and talk about some of the decks that I have been playing around with. And then we're going to go and, you know, take a look at some of the people here who might need some help. And sort of given just like the, the amount of interest I'm seeing here, um, hoping that, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be able to get through everybody here today. And if not, as always, uh, feel free to reach out to me in the network chat and we will, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. All right. So some of the things I'm doing here, um, Eternal Blade is a card that I did manage to get from my five star collection. If you get this card, it is going to be quite pretty helpful, especially if you have some, uh, human relics. If you don't have human relics, then you're going to want to make sure that you put in Tyra as well in the, in the deck. So the reason being that this card is only really useful if you have some human intensity. And so if you have Tyra, at least having one of her in there would be useful. And if you uh, if you realize that you should realize by now that we're getting all of these, uh, you know, support sort of evolution uh, catalysts now, the new ones. So you can easily pull one from the 20 dust shop. Uh, Tyra, and then you can evolve her to six stars. That's actually what I did. I had dust her before, then I, I bought her back, and then I evolved her again. Uh, so basically, if you um, if you look at Tyra, she's the one that's going to give you a five human intensity return. So ha having one around is going to be a little helpful, and you can use Eternal Blade for two reasons. One, uh, she will actually uh, you know create a dark power gem every single turn for you as long as you have a power gem on the board and also in, uh, create intensity which is what actually will give you the human boost so that is one of the decks here and i'm going to kind of show you each of these decks and sort of we're going to play uh we're going to play with them and then kind of show you how it works so just taking a look here so yeah we're de definitely getting some um getting getting some requests here and so just what we want to say um we'll, we'll, we'll get to that right after this segment here and uh damien so radiant bosses if you haven't passed the trial boss just yet, then they won't show up. And I actually haven't seen uh, a lot of them personally. So uh, it's rare. It's a lot rarer now too. Okay, so this first thing I'm going to show you actually takes uh, takes advantage of uh, the human relics. And also I have two, two support cards from this event. And then I pulled in also the cheetah. And I also have a, a copy of of uh, Pearl Cambria. So you've, you've heard me talk about this card a lot in the past, and it is one of those cards that's really useful. And so the reason I'm bringing this one here is because I wanted to take advantage of uh, uh, two things. I wanted to take advantage of the uh, the human intensity, so uh, having, having Eternal Blade sort of help with the intensity building and also sort of the uh, attack boost, as well as Pearl Cambria. Pearl Cambria also does that. And the way you want to... Uh, play with this deck really with the support cards you want to actually activate it first uh, so you want to activate it uh, before you're going to do a match and then also make sure you activate pro cambrias first now for this particular case i'm just going to activate it once i could choose to act, uh, activate uh you know more than once if I, if I wanted to but for the purpose of just showing this i'm just going to do one so you notice how i actually already uh, fill up uh, the entire board with gems and then activate her skill here and then when we're we're just simply going to do a um 
power gem swap here. And you can see that my, my support cards here, they both deal 30 over 37 billion there. And so, uh, I mean, like total damage wise, we're talking about 88 billion just from that one, uh, you know, one, um, one hit with a, it's a three key attack but it can do pretty good damage and i was a little slow too in getting my gems there but as soon as you get the pearl cambrius uh, enabled you can really just activate everything and in the very next turn you'll be able to deal some good damage so so this this team is a you know is a viable deck it's you know it's pretty interesting and it's fun it doesn't have all the it doesn't have you know all dark slayers but it works Another deck I wanted to kind of show you is um, if you had like a team like Mama Legba or if you had like Ushaptu or something, again, uh, you don't, you want to think about like what the, you know, what cards are going to work well. So in this particular case, a card like Mama Legba, you can actually use Amy or Daniil uh, as well because they do exactly the same thing where this card will simply create, um, you know, three columns of, you know, mixed rainbow power gems that card actually doesn't work very well with this event support card because the way that it works out is you would actually have to activate Mama Legba first and then do a match. But then if you do that, you're going to lose all of the power gems. And so to counteract that, it's actually better to use uh, the Ballistic Commander Cheetah as well as Ogilvy, Twilight Hunter, because they're all uh, gem spawners. So let's take a look. And then I threw in here Dark uh, Crystal Phoenix. Now, this card is also available in Spires and any other card, any, any, um, sort of any cards, sort of any pack pull that says three star, uh, you know, Slayer, this card is possible. There are other cards, of course, you don't need to use Crystal Phoenix. I just kind of randomly threw in a, a card that generates power gems. So we're gonna go ahead and try with this, this tech right here. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So this is if you are using a card like Mama Legba or like Amy, Daniil, what have you, um, you wanna, you want to do it this way. So let's. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do a match first, and then on turn. Basically, this is a turn two type, uh, turn three type deck, really. And so we want to do is, um, you want to go ahead and activate Mama Legba, and then see how if I actually do a match here, I'm gonna lose all of these power gems. So then instead of that, go ahead and activate uh, two copies of Cheetah. They both create uh, eight. Uh, gems, which is really helpful, and then Ogilvy uh, will create six. So we won't quite um, actually get everything, but it will at least cover most of it. Now, if you have three copies of Cheetah, I would definitely uh, recommend going uh, for it. Or if you wanted to, simply throw another support card that could actually generate gems. And that uh, right there dealt about 36, uh, 40 uh, billion damage there. So not a little bit weaker there, but it's, you know, another option if you wanted to. So, you know, like I'm just kind of showing different decks, different ideas, given what I know I, I've seen people have. And then this one actually can do quite a bit of damage. So if you have a copy of Soul Reaper or if you have a six star Xeno, um, Xeno Scourge, I would highly, you know, encourage you to try uh, try incorporating it into your deck as much as possible. Uh, so we're going to do uh, with this one now. So again, uh, as usual, we're going to do a three key attack just to kind of show its full potential. And... Ordering wise, you'll you'll notice um, what I what I'm doing here is uh, I go from left to right mostly, but I don't think this was probably in the, uh, in the order I would have liked. But anytime you're dealing with uh, this card here, uh, the, you know, Hylic, Warborn, and King, it's going to be a three turn uh, three turn deck, no, regardless. Okay, and so what we want to do is uh, I think what I could do is I could actually activate this, and then I'm going to go ahead and activate the two cards here, and I'm going to go ahead and active, uh, sort of do a gem swap right now. I could have waited until uh, the next turn to activate it. I would have lost one less gem there, but you know, it's okay. So so the key, the key here is I have at least four power gem fours. And then go ahead and activate a copy of Soul Reaper so that you can get as many gems as possible. Now, this team is going to deal a lot of damage. I, I would I would imagine it to deal even more than uh, the only one I saw. So yeah, so this one is going to be able to deal you know 130 or so. 144 billion damage. So if you wanted to go after a, uh, you know, a cobalt boss, this is more than enough. And that was a that was a three turn attack. So you don't really need a full event deck. You just need to make sure that you have the right cards and give you the synergy. All right. So these are, uh, I believe, these are the three ideas I had there. There's another one where I was just kind of playing around. This actually got me eight trillion damage uh, with this, uh, without the actual, uh, you know, overkill bonus. Uh, 
the killer bonus. But this is where, you know, I'm using uh, Dynamite Dougal to really increase my human intensity, uh, human attack, and also with uh, Eternal Blade to help out there. And then Tyra basically fills up the board with uh, Dark Gems. I was able to get 8 trillion with that, but it takes a little bit of time. And this is my main deck that I'm using right here, where I have my Butter Blitzer and the Freedom Fighters, and then I've put I put the MC card that I got from the you know from the pack pool. So these are the cards, uh, the decks I'm playing with, and hopefully these give you some ideas as well. Now let's just take a look at the chance, and then we're gonna go in and uh, check out check out what, what you guys are doing. All right, so looks like all right. And so yeah, so uh, Ryan Rev also just seeing you in the chat here, so welcome to the chat. All right, so the first one is actually uh, somebody who requested offline, and I and I had agreed to uh, take a look, and that's going to be Phoenix Three. And then afterwards, we're definitely going to uh, you know take a look at everyone else's here. So let's see, I, I, if I remember correctly, he specifically told me a team to look at as well. This one. All right, so Dark Toad is the team that he asked for, uh, for for me to take a look at. And so what I'm seeing here is he's using Menacing Telebung as well as Kano uh, and Hylic here. So we do have, uh, you know, cards that could give him Power Gen Force, and that's why he has the Soul Reaper in there as well. And so if I take a look at the Slayer, I want to see if there's a better option there. So in this case, I almost feel like um, I almost feel like this is a better choice just because you get additional nuke there, even though it may not be a hundred percent nuke here. Um, and here is where you know I I, I can I see you you have Mama Legba, but then Mama Legba doesn't work quite as nicely with High Life. Uh, it works a little better with Ogilvy and um, and also with uh, Cheetah there. So that's actually the deck I showed uh, is an option if you wanted to to take advantage of that. Uh, but otherwise, I think uh, if you have overloaded Belava, that would have been good. Uh, I see Crystal Phoenix, so you can actually uh, get it to six stars now with uh, with the you know the upgrade catalyst that we got this event. So you'll be able to get that to six star. Uh, I wouldn't bother with uh, Vala though. And so let's take a look here. So you have Tyra and okay. So yeah, so I think. Really, what you want to do is you want to be able to take advantage of your. Um, you want really want to take advantage of your Soul Reaper, and so in terms of the commander, what would be better here? So menacing tick tick left bone has a long cooldown of six turns, and if you are going to use that, I wonder if it also might be better. Let's take a look at your warden. So you have the Mouse King. I almost feel like the Mouse King would be a little bit better in this case, just because you get guaranteed uh, four there. It's it's an additional one, and uh, it has a one turn less cooldown, so it helps a little bit uh, in setting up your your team there. But I, I would say that this this feels fine to me. Uh, it's going to be a little bit slower. I, I feel like you know Hylic because you're taking advantage of his uh, ten times uh, damage, so I think that's okay. Um, so the only thing I would say is consider potentially taking out uh, Tik uh, Lepung, Tik Balung, and put in the uh, the Mouse King. Although you are using two Commander relics there to, uh, we're actually using three. I would take out these two. So this is one that has Daydream Polearm. This only gives you uh, this only gives you additional damage if you have a Mystic on the team, which you don't. And so I would take those two out there, taking up uh, Precious Relic space right now. You need to get the uh, the Relic for this event, and then uh, put it in, and then I would take that and put, put another uh, Slayer Relic in there. So that would be my recommendation. Okay, and so Victor Okawa, as well as Alama, Alamsa. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll definitely uh, get to you once we go through here. I'm just kind of going through the through the list right now, and the first one is going to be uh, the Reaper. So we're gonna take a look at the Reaper mix. The Reaper mix, yeah. And what did you guys think about the, the ideas I showed? I'm kind of curious, you know, um, if that's something that you guys could try out, 
or if that maybe sparks some ideas. You know, these, this is sort of the idea I wanted to, to, to share with you guys so that we can discuss it and talk about uh, what possibilities there are. And it's not mixed, it's MX, the Reaper MX. Okay, and if there is any, uh, so you don't have any good Dark Slayer cards, but you really just need a couple of support cards in my opinion. And it's just a matter of sort of knowing what cards you have uh, that you can use. And so I see you don't, do you have the support card from this event? So you have one. Okay. Uh, so you've got one support card here and you've got two copies of Cheetah. Uh, you have the tick left. Okay, you have uh, Kano. All right. You have a copy of Supercharged Makwa. So that is going to be a card that could be useful for you. It is it is going to take a little bit uh, a little bit longer, but you have an option right there. And the following one would be a card that destroys gems, right? And so one thing you could try and do here is you're you're essentially lacking the power gem spawning ability. So supercharged Makwa is going to be helpful because as long as you can get at least 10, um, 10 fable intensity, you are gonna get at least a few power gems. And the other power gem spawners that you have are Menacing Tick Butlung and also Kano. And also, uh, you know, Slime Launcher Stiff. So Slime Launcher Stiff is a little bit weaker in that it only creates two, but you have an option here where you could go with, um, you could go with the Slime Launcher Stiff for uh, for a little bit of Nuke, and you have Menacing Tick, uh, tick Butt Lung as well as Kano for your, um, for your uh, Power Gem spawn. So those, those three right there would be uh, good cards to use. And then, you could, I prefer Cheetah. So you could use two copies of Cheetah. You also get a, a really nice heal there. So that right there would be, you know, a team that you could use right there. Now, if you don't, if you feel like you still need a, need a little bit more, um, then I would say that you could take out Slime Launcher Stiff if you wanted to and put in the, uh, actually I wouldn't recommend putting in the supercharged Makwa at that, in that case, because I also want to take a look at your, your relics there. So if you take a look at your Fable Relic, so you do have two Fable Relics and they uh, they will give you a 10 intensity every single turn. So if you wanted to play around a little bit, you could also do, I would say, so I think Kano creates four. And so I would say that, um, you can take any one of those, just experiment. You can choose to take any card out and then put in Super uh, Charged Makwa just to go for a few turns. Like if it's a deck where you, uh, you know, against the boss and you're willing to go up to like turn six, turn seven, or even turn 10, uh, that will give you at least, you know, 10 power gems to go along with the rest of the cards there. So that would be a way for you to get some damage there. It's not going to be quick. Uh, if you wanted to quick, then you should go with the first team I, I, I mentioned with uh, Tikba Lung, Lung as well as a Stiff and also Kano plus two Cheetahs. That's probably going to be your best bet. All right. Hope that helps. And Rebel, you're looking for a way to order for, for your cards. We can take a look and it's a Rohita. So let's take a look. And the deck is Dark Slayer. Okay. And how how are you guys doing also in terms of the in terms of the trial bosses? You know, to to get through the trial boss in order to get to the umbrella bosses. I know that some of my guildmates are still having a hard time getting to it, and so it's it hasn't been easy for sure. All right. Uh, so I see a mix of. Trusted Chariot here as a, a gem spawner. You have two Hylix. So generally with two copies of Hylix, you don't actually need Trusted Chariot. Even like even though it creates spawn, uh, 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 gems, it also is a uh, nuke damage dealer. And you kind of don't want nukes that 
you know, basically will will just hit in the middle of your turn because then you lose your spot in the queue for your uh, for your attack, and then other people might come in and, and deal uh, basically take the boss away from you. And you have the cards that will already create you know a lot of gems to fill a board, so it becomes a little bit unnecessary to be honest with you. And so in this case, what we want to do is we want to find a card that will give you a little bit more power gems to give you that much more edge for your damage output, and like. Uh, so Soul Reaper is a card that you 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 must consider putting in every Dark Slayer deck. So every Dark Slayer deck, even if you can't create four Power Gen fours, put them in there because it is going to be extremely valuable as a support card to help you deal more damage. So I would take out the Chariot and put in the Soul Reaper. That's the first thing I would do. And let's see here. Uh, in terms of your cards that are Power Gem spawners. I see overloaded Balava. so this is also a uh, this is also a uh, Slayer Dark Slayer card, and you have the support. Uh, you have the catalyst now to upgrade it to six stars. This card will create as you power it up. It will create two power gem fours, and then based on intensity for technological intensity, will create more. And so at the very minimum, you should put in, uh, you should get this card to six stars and then put them in your deck as well. Uh, let's see if there's another card that would be a little bit better here. So yeah, so I would say you need those two cards for sure. And then, um, and then what else you should put in there? So it depends on your preference. I think if you want more damage, then put in two copies of Hylic, Soul Reaper, uh, overloaded Balava, and you can put in the Cheetah. So you have three support cards, and then uh, the two gem spawners in there, a uh, power gem spawners. I think you're going to see a big difference in your damage output if you did that, and you have Eternal Blade. So Eternal Blade is another option as well uh, that you can put in there. So you could almost do it this way. You could also just put do um, Hylic, two copies of Hylic, and Eternal Blade. Soul Reaper and your overloaded Blava, that's one option. Or you can replace your High Lake with two copies of Cheetah. You actually have a lot of options there. So um, that would be that would be the first thing I want I want to say. So that you always want to activate your High Lake first for this particular case for your gems to spawn and then activate everything else. But in this case, I would just replace a lot of the cards in here so your deck is going to de uh, deal a lot better damage there. Okay, so give that a try and let me know how 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 you um, how you do. So me, myself, and the 1100, how did I get past the trial boss? Honestly, I used my Bio Blitzer deck, and that was something that, you know, um, I know not everybody's able to do. So that's the thing I, I kind of feel frustrated about, is that I can't go back and try it again. I, I can't go back and uh, try a trial boss uh, so that I, I can't really actually... Sorry, my, my uh, T actually overloaded, uh, overflow, so I'm... My, my desk is all wet. Um, so I, I, I don't actually know how to help people get, get through it just because I can't experience it again. I can't, you know, play with the decks to try it. So the best thing I could do is, you know, um, give recommendations based on what you're using. If you're close, then we can take a look and see what tweaks we might be able to make. All right. And so I think Duppy also asked for some help as well. Uh, so we can take a look here. Uh, Duppy Conqueror. And while I log in, just want to take a look and see if there's any other uh, questions or anything that I might be able to answer here. Okay. And yeah, so mostly, mostly just requests for decks here. Okay. There's a question. You're able to rebuy the Return to the Wasteland deck from Codex. It'll cost you 2.7 thousand Dark Slayer Dust. Returns to the Wasteland. Return to the Wasteland deck. Uh, which one is that? <laughs> you have to remind me to just just give me the name of the card. But if you have to to spend Dark Slayer Dust, I'm not sure if that's necessarily worth it. Uh, just because it is going to be useful for other things in the future as well. Uh, but let me know which cards you're talking about, and then we can take a look as well. Okay. And yeah, so Mac Mephiters, we're going to talk about uh, the cards that you can use to help you with uh, ultimate. I can actually get to about level 14 ultimate with this deck. And so we could um, 
we could actually uh, uh, help you help you with that. All right, so Duppy, you have Bio Blitzer, and I think the only thing you're missing, if you're missing anything at all. Uh, so Guardian of Gaul is another card that could be useful if you're able to get a, a boar full of gems. You can also put him in here because this card will actually create power gem twos for every five gems on the boar. And so if you can fill up the boar with power gems, that's seven power gem twos right there, which is also another really good option. It works really well if you're using two copies of Hylic. So if you have two copies of Hylic, you're almost guaranteed to fill the entire board with uh, Dark Gems. So putting in a copy of Dark uh, Guardian of Soul is a quick way to get a lot of Power Gems on the board as well. So that's something to consider. And, you know, like, something to keep in mind too, like all of those three-star, four-star cards that's sort of been sitting in your inventory forever, if they're useful, uh, you can now get them. So Lafer is the card I was talking about. So Lafer is a card that will actually give you heal every turn. And I, that's the card that I use when I go up against uh, ultimate bosses. I just throw them in there and I basically never die, even at uh, level 14 ultimate. So it becomes a matter of just, you know, um, matching gems really quickly. All right. Uh, so you do have a lot of cards. You're just under level here. And so I don't see I don't see Soul Reaper and I don't see um, Xeno Scorch either. Those are the cards I would have liked to see you try using. But since we don't have them here, I think it's fine with what you have uh, but I feel like you could actually use one less support card in this case so in your deck here I think using two high leg and two copies uh, two high leg one bio blitzer and a stymie you might consider replacing cheetah with a copy of your guardian of gall just because you're going to be able to get more power gems this way and you might get a little bit more damage. So give that a try. I think overall this deck is fine. I would keep it as it is. Just give that a try if you're finding yourself not dealing as much damage as you would like. All right. And let's see. So Kiko, need my wisdom. Not sure it's wisdom necessarily, but I'll definitely try my best. So let's take a look and see uh, what you're working with in progress version two well i see that you've got two copies of ult ultimate form there so you should have no problem with the power gem spawns so this will create six power gems it just requires 50 skill points and so then i think you might not really need kindercraft so kindercraft is also a gem spawner right and so, or actually creates three power gem twos. So I think the goal here is you're, you're trying to create more power gems. I can, I can see that, but let's just take a look and see if that is the most optimal team that you could build there. Uh, so Bio Blitzer and, hmm. So three power gem twos or four power gem ones. Um, this is a Slayer deck, so you're not really counting on the other cards. You're really trying to power up. So, like, the funny thing about a Bio Blitzer deck is you're actually just trying to power up Bio Blitzer as much as possible for his nuke. But if you can get a lot of damage for your other cards, then that's really awesome as well. So, the thing about using a card that has, um, you know, requirements to charge up, a if you use a mixed deck like a slayer with your relics as well so it might be to your advantage to actually um i think it's going to be actually more uh, to your benefit if you can get another slayer in there and so in that case i see the freedom fighters right so you freedom fighters bio blitzer and you have a uh, transform trailblazer plus soul reaper that in itself is already great so what you need is uh, you need a car that can help you get get to your um, 50 skill points faster, and that's going to be another support card. So, or the militant maven. So I would I would actually just put in the militant maven in this in this deck right here. So that's what you're missing. You're missing the militant maven. Uh, replace that car. So that if that's the one that you're working with, uh, version two, and then uh, Lafer is going to be good for help uh, keeping you stay alive longer and dark slayer yeah so 
this is where I think like you know, right now I think your challenge is going to be you have one, two, three, four. You have four. You have four relics can generate intensity, so that's twenty per turn, and you're going to end up having to do three three turns in order to activate your transform trailblazer. Whereas if you just put in at least one copy of your support card in here, it would have actually helped there. And so I think the Bio Blitzer, I think the Freedom Fighters will actually create one as well, or it doesn't. It. Yeah, so I think if you put in another support card, uh, you're going to, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because you're, you've are you got four relics there and that's 20, so it's 40, uh, 40 total. Whereas if you had two support cards, yeah, I, I, I would probably just, you know, I think this is fine, actually. Now I'm looking at it, uh, you'll be able to activate your Trailblazer on turn two rather than turn three, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, so I, I like that. I like the deck that you're using there. So um, I, I hope that uh, you're doing well with that deck that you're using. Uh, I would imagine it to be uh, working pretty well. All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Kaelson Drake. Right, that is your in-game name with the underscore. And so let's take a look at your deck. I don't believe I've ever seen your uh, seen your request before, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you're uh, what you're running with today. Okay. So you've got Bio Blitzer, Freedom Fighters, Militant Maven, and Hi. Okay. Honestly, this card is going to be a little bit redundant. In your team, and and that, this is a really weird, weird thing to say, but I actually feel like you have a better chance with another card in, in here. But let's see what else you you got going on, uh, because you do want to take advantage of your of your relic. So I'm not a huge huge fan with the the support card this time, you know, sort of mixed with the bio blitzer deck, just because the 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 way you activate in the activation order is a little bit uh different and so uh i would actually prefer if you put in like kano in there honestly uh just because you're gonna be dealing most of your damage honestly with your freedom fighters and if you're able to get a little bit more power gems in your uh in your setup that's going to honestly you know help you with the overall damage there and so I also see Eternal Blade, but that is more um, useful only if you have a team with Dark Humans. And so for this particular case, you could also choose to put in your uh, Slime Launcher if you wanted to. But I think really uh, put in another Kano there so that you can get a little bit more Power Gem. Keep in mind you're getting four. Um, you're, get, you're getting four Power Gems. Okay, and but. But I, but I can also see that this will not actually fill out the board as much. And so... To me, it feels like this this should work just fine. And I think what you're saying is this is a two-click deck. Uh, so I would probably just keep it as it is if it's working for you. So unless this is not working, unless you feel like you're not getting the kind of uh, damage you're looking for, I, I don't know if I necessarily would take anything out it's just that uh, this is really a three turn three turn deck like you have to uh manage your first turn then activate uh, highly and then activate everything else in order to get the best uh most most out of it uh but you're still not going to get a full board because you're using just one if you're going to go with the uh, uh, highlight setup you might as well use two you might as well use two of them so you can get a full board of gems and then activate your uh, bio blitzer freedom fighter followed by soul reaper to maximize on your damage output so that's what i would recommend i think i saw that you had two uh and if you don't then that's a different story so let's see yeah, you only have, oh, you have two. So you do have two. I'd rather you just replace the Maven with another copy of, um, with Hylic there. You might as well just fill a board with gems. That does make a difference in terms of how much damage you can deal. All right. And let's see. Uh, I'm about like a third way through. <laughs> so yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm also really, really uh, behind on my chat. I am literally at the 834 mark looking at BT Malo. All right. So uh, Baron raised the Cursed. Baron Rays, the Cursed. 
So yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to take a, take any more uh, requests at this point. Like if it's if you're just joining the chat right now and uh, you're making requests, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get to you at this point. Uh, so like I said, as always, let me know if there if there's any uh, dire need for your help. If you're having a you know really struggling with something, we'll try and help you out there um, after the stream so that you can just reach out to me. All right, so we have the event team. You have uh, Mama Legba as well as Bio Blitzer and Hell. So this is the case where I was mentioning, right? Mama Legba and Hylic don't really work well together. And so one of those two should go because you're going to end up sort of sacrificing the power gems uh, one way or another, or you're going to end up uh, yeah, you, you're just going to end up in a situation where your your gems are not going to fall the way you want them to. And so you got Bio Blitzer, and I think you have pretty good Slayer options, so let's just focus on that. You've got Hell, and so you need to make sure you can get two Power Gem 4s. So you have one Bio Blitzer, and you have another Power Gem Spawner. Let's see. You have Overloaded Balava. So again... This is the card that will be able to create two power, uh, Dark Power Gem 4s. As long as you uh, upgrade it to 6-star, you only need one uh, Catalyst here. So upgrade Overloaded Balava. Then you can put it with Bio Blitzer. Now you can power up your Hell to, um, you know, so that you can create 12 Power Gem 2s. And I, I suppose what you could do is you could then... Um, you could then replace Mama Legba, honestly with overloaded Balava, and what you're going to do is you're going to activate Hylic first, then do a gem, and then activate Bio Blitzer, overloaded Balava, followed by Hell, and then Ogilvy. That's one option. The other option is to just take out uh, Hylic and put in Cheetah instead, and you're going to achieve a very similar, um, similar effect, but this turns into a turn 2 deck rather than a turn 3 deck. All right, so that's that's what I would recommend. So so one general uh, observation and recommendation for everybody here is take a look at your older cards that you might have forgotten about that you had. Now it's a lot easier to evolve these cards. And you know, remember now with the sort of the simplified evolution catalyst, you could actually use them. You could use them to evolve what you what you didn't have before. You so like if you were missing that before you'll be surprised at what you can find now. Like I've already found a couple of these options that um, that you didn't know you had, and this is really going to make a, dip, a big difference. That's why I was saying that Dark Slayer actually has a lot more options than you might realize. And so, uh, you know, so, so hopefully that helps. Okay, so Matt Mc, McFeeders, your, your name is just Boya. Okay, Boya. <laughs> How many A's is that? Five? One, two, three, four, five. How many O's? B O O Y and then five A's. One, two, three, no, six A's. Okay, another uh, another new person that I'm I'm helping us. So glad to uh, see you in the in the stream here and welcome to uh, to this conversation here. And so you've got the you've got this basically the Hellboy deck here with Unbound Royalty and you've got uh, the the Dread Queen Mokata and also the Reigning Monarch. And so check me out. Uh, I'm not sure if you need help here, but I'm going to assume you don't uh, since you already have the full deck there. So if you need help with the uh, activation order, um, we can do that. But really, um, the, the, the goal here is to help people who, who, who might need help there. So you already have the full team, but you're not sure how to activate it. Just let me know so that I can actually help there. But I don't think I'm going to you know, um, really be able to find a uh, car that can be better than a full uh, ultimate form team there. Uh, so, okay. Uh, Boa Noit, is that the in-game name? Let's take a look now. So we're catching up, I think. <laughs> Almost halfway to the chat there. After this one, I'm going to uh, take a look at the... Okay, that's probably not the right one. So I'm going to take a look at the chat right now and catch up and see what... Oh, what else is uh, in the conversations here? So Jim Paulson, um, I can show that. I, 
I can show the event deck that I recommended. I guess that I must have uh, recommended offline. Uh, Angela Neal. Okay. So we're at 912 right now. I'm going to try and go through as many, many as I could, but unfortunately um, for the people that are uh, just you know joining here and asking for uh, requests here, if I don't get to you, apologies, uh, we'll try my best, but I'm just going to continue to go through uh, what I can right now. Uh, so I was at 834. There was a lot of people um, that I haven't gone through just yet. All right. And so um, let's see. So John Gomez is. So is that your in-game name too? If it's not, then I'm not going to be able to find you. So I'm going to put in here. Yeah, so please let me know your in-game name as well. And let's see. Chi Meng Ong. Hello, hello. And missing a quick turn one. Main guard Senga Steel. Yeah, so in order to get a good turn one deck, you really need cards that can spawn uh, gems on turn one. And in this particular case, in a Dark Slayer event, the only card that you're going to be able to do that with is a, a an Ascendant Almar. And so, mainly using deck two. Okay. And so, the reason why this is a turn three deck is because of Hylic, right? The way it works is you have to wait until you can uh, do a match and then it'll fill up the board. And this is one of the reasons why I dislike this deck mechanic very, uh, you know, I don't like this as much. There's one for water, there's one for light. It's just not as fast. And so that's the reason why I don't like this. Uh, so sort of to count compensate for that, honestly, if you wanted to, the option would be to replace that with two copies of Cheetah so that you could at least, you know, fill a board mostly. Um, and you have Grandir Luden, and you have uh, Slime Launcher as well as Kano. So I would say those three plus two copies of Cheetah might be sufficient, but you have Soul Reaper. And so Soul Reaper works with uh, Grandir, I think, right? Grandir will create six as long as you have 50 uh, skill points. So honestly, put in Grandir and a Soul Reaper, and then just go with, um, Go with three copies of cheetah honestly like you might actually try that just so that you can get your power gems and your um your your, your power gems in place and you're you're going to be able to fill it up so if you want it faster the way to speed it up is to replace your two hylix with your uh, copies of cheetah so you're going to definitely turn that into a turn two deck rather than a turn three deck okay all right, so let's take a look here. And yeah, so a deck to beat Challenge Boss, that's gonna be a tough one to, to talk about. Um, honestly, like one thing that you could consider if you guys have a turn delayer card would be to, to try and use that, right? So this is a turn delayer card. If you guys have it, um, you can't farm it, unfortunately. So I've kept this forever. I never dusted it. What you could do is you could always try to do the following. If you need to, if you have a card that gives you a lot of power gems based on intensity, then you use turn the layer and a gem spawner and uh, wait for the intensity to go up. So that if you have like a supercharged Makwa, or even if you have another card, uh, if you have Tyra, you can use uh, human intensity to uh, build up so you can fill a board with a uh, dark gem and then have a uh, have another card like, you know, um, Supercharged Makwa or any other card like, you know, um, even like Mummy or whatever you have you uh, that could fill up the board with gems and then put a couple of gem three cards in there so that when you do match the full board of gems, hopefully that will at least give you sufficient damage to take it out. Like that's another option that you might try. The The reason I put in turn player is just so that you can not get hit if that's one of the issues uh, with health. If you're having a problem with health, that will be it or uh, a healer. Those are sort of the common things that you could try if you don't already have a high damaging deck. Uh, but again, this is one of those things where trial bosses are, are hard for me to help out just because it's different from event to event and it's very different from people and I can't actually do it more than once once I pass it, so I can't really help there. All right, uh, so let's see. Vogawa, so Vic Victor Vogawa. Let's take a look at your cards. Vogawa. Yeah, so it's interesting. This uh, this this time around, uh, there there are some uh, 
new names and uh, sort of new faces here. So I, I'm uh, just want to say thanks for 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 uh, checking this out and for joining us. All right, so let's see. So you've pulled MC on uh, turn two, but not sure what the best combo is. Okay, and so I do see that you have two copies of of uh, Soul Reaper. So generally, if you can get um, your MC to activate after you've already matched as many gems as possible on turn one, you should be able to activate her and also activate two copies of uh, Soul Reaper. And that will almost fill up the entire board already. And so I think the other cards that you have, yeah, so in this case, what you'll want to do is, what you'll want to do is mm, the thing that you might, you could make that work. So this team would work for sure what you've got set up there with two copies of Hylic. Uh, and I just wish there was one more copy, one more card that, that, that could generate a uh, power gen four there. Um, but in this particular case, I think what you've got there would work just fine because you don't have enough cards to, you don't have other support cards that's going to be helpful. So in this case, I would say, make sure that on turn one, get your, Get your um, Dark Gems matched so you can get a Power Gem 4 and make sure you do not lose that and then activate your um, your M your Master Collection card after doing the match for your Highlight. So then you're going to have a Power Gem 4 plus her, that's four Power Gem 4s. And then when you activate Soul Reaper, you're going to be able to deal a ton of damage there. So uh, that would be the, the way I would play that, okay? And so Mount Famor, are you using Papa also in your deck to counter Poison, but he's not pumping out enough without the rest on his deck? Can you optimize... Can I optimize your deck? So Dark Summoner Orion, Ori Oriana. Okay, Dark Summoner. Who is it with two ends? Yes. So let's see here. Uh, Dark Summoner Oriana, you're using the F2P challenge. All right, so did you take it out? <laughs> uh, looks like you must have changed your deck since uh, I saw it. Um, all right, well, you've got Hell and Soul Reaper, and you've got Grandier Luden, and you've got Hylic here. So let's see how many. The problem is you need to use more Dark Slayer Relics in here. So um, do you have three Dark Slayer Relics? Because if you do, I would actually recommend that you go with that instead. So you have three Dark Relics, uh, Dark Slayer Relics. I would recommend that you use three of those and you could actually just not worry about the Human Relic here. It's it's going to make a little bit of a difference, but it won't make that much. So you might as well put in a Dark Slayer Relic to help all of your cards instead of the Human Relic, which only will help Hylic. So I would recommend taking the Dark Slayer deck in there. That's gonna help you also with uh, getting 15 you need the 15 from your three Slayer Relics plus 10 from your Hylic. So that's 25 uh, in ten, uh, twenty-five skill points. And then that way after turn two is when you're going to get the 50 uh, skill points required for Grand Deer Luden so you can activate Hell and Soul Reaper. So you can turn this into a three turn deck rather than a four turn deck because you needed to wait one extra turn uh, for Luden to be powered up. So anytime you're playing with a card that requires uh, that requires a um, you know skill points to be to be charged up. You have to think about maximizing your relics as well as your support card so that you can get your skill points faster. Okay. And John Gomez, so Demented Demencius. That's that's the uh, in-game name I was looking for. Okay, Demented. And Angelo Palladino, is there a chance I could I could show my GVG attack teams? I could uh, I could do that. I could I could definitely spend some time to uh, show you the cards I have, just uh, right after this. So yeah, I'm I'm catching up to the 9 p.m. Uh, request. So it's it's a little bit slow, but I I hope that you guys will understand that you know uh, there's a lot of options here, and this time around there's a lot more, lot more requests that I'm seeing. So. Um, Hopefully, though, the ideas I've given and also sort of like the, the session I'm giving here is giving you some ideas on how you might be able to change your deck. So I encourage you guys to take a look at your deck as I'm going through this as well to see if there's any other optimizations that you might be able to do based on the recommendations I've given to others as well. 
And so this is the only one I see that's a Dark Slayer deck. So I'm going to assume that this is it. Now I see Amy, if I remember correctly, Amy just uh, transforms gems. And it's a, uh, so this is a Generation 2, Generation 1 really card that isn't as useful by today's standards. And so I think I would, I would like to think that you have better options than that. And so let's take a look to see if that's the case. And so you do have a Soul Reaper, which is good. And uh, let's take a look here. So I would say that if you were to uh, put in any other card in there, you could put in Hylic. And so the, the, the challenge right now is the Dark Gem Spawners, uh, Power Gem Spawners, I should say. And so what you got here is... Mama Legba would, would work actually. So Mama Legba could work along with uh, Soul Reaper. It's just that you can, you have to use your other support cards. So if you are to use that deck, then you have two copies of Cheetah and you have Ogilvy, Mama Legba, and uh, Soul Reaper. So what I would actually recommend you try and do is put in Ogil Ogilvy in there in place of Hylic and then put in Mama Legba in place of Amy. So what you could do with that deck then is you could activate Amy and Soul Reaper and then activate your three support cards. What that'll do is then it will convert all of them to dark gems and then you can do a gem match there and get some decent damage output from that particular team. The team as it stands right now is going to be, uh, you're going to have less output than that. So I would give that a try. I think that's your best option given the cards that you have. And so for me, I think I'm going to take a quick break here from uh, from the decks. And the request is uh, GVG Attack Team. So my cards, uh, it's hard to sort of show like a generic team that everybody can make. But in general, I, I just kind of go with this one that I have. Uh, where did it go? Basically, I go with this. And if I needed to uh, do a gem silence, uh, counter that's what I would use but this is the go-to team for me but then if it's ascended uh, if it's ascended wardens then you kind of have to go with this type of deck and not everybody has this so um, you need a card like the Jin Jombre which actually would you know be a gemfall card every two turns and if you have um, the Dragoon which I have uh, shown in the in the past, uh, Noxious Nepenthe. You need two of those, and then you need a uh, a, a gem destroyer, an Earth gem destroyer, uh, big big bat wolf, for example. You can activate this every two turns. But if you have the sniping uh, sugar, uh, the, the the I forget her name, but um, the ultra rare card for the uh, for the Earth corrupt deck, then that would be actually better. And you need either a turn delayer or a, a card that can give you immunity that's sort of like the kind of deck that you have to to build if you're talking like a high level guild versus guild but i've said this before i'm not really good at that and so it's not something i can show with you know i, I will not be able to do it justice so i kind of show you what i use but i don't think i'll be able to build something live this time I'm not really ready for that so we can talk more about this afterwards okay so angelo uh so sorry i couldn't really um do a good job with the gvg one but we can always talk more about it afterwards. Or there are other people that are much better than I am. I'm just not quite equipped for a high-end high uh, guild versus guild. All right, so Tamara, we're, we've we reached you. Uh, sorry, about half an hour late, but Baroness Ismia Drift will take a look at your deck. Just let's go ahead and uh, put your name in there. Baroness Ismia Drift. And I think I'll be able to do two more after this. And so um, after this, we will. I'll, I'll just kind of catch up on the chat and see if there's anything else we can talk about. I definitely want to give you my my point of view on how things are today uh, for for the event, though. Uh, so Alpha is at the deck and Knights. Okay, so your Knights deck seem okay, but I think you're lacking the the gems to really override Mama Legba. So. Uh, you might have a hard time doing matches there. Whereas this is actually a little bit better uh, because you've got Bio Blitzer and also you've got the Dread Queen so that you can you can power up Soul Reaper. And then you've got Nusa and then you have a cheat up there. So the question here is, uh, do you need anything different? Is there something different there based on what you have? 
Mm. So you got Soul Reaper in there. Yeah, actually, I think that I think that's a pretty good option that you've already got going on there, uh, because with Chia, then you're gonna be able to fill in the rest of the board with it, and so that's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight power gems plus another twelve. That's twenty power gems plus the eight. That's so it's twenty-eight. So you're almost gonna fill up the board uh, with this team. I, I don't think there's any problems with this. I I don't have a problem with it. Uh, the only thing is I see just two. Is that because you just have two dark slayer relics let's make sure that we uh, double check there so dark slayer so you have three so i would put three dark slayer relics in there uh it'll, it'll do a better job i think powering it up than the five star um i think it might do a better job than the five star one i, I generally like to go with the dark slayer uh, relic if I if I can um, but play around and see see if that makes a difference but I think that that deck is um, well actually I think what you're saying is how to play your deck I didn't actually do that did I apparently you have drift yeah so I think what I should have said is this is the deck I, I, I would say Alpha is the best one. So then, yeah, you should actually Battle Blitzer followed by Dread Queen, then uh, Nua and then Soul Reaper followed by, by Cheetah. That's the activation order. And that is a, that's a turn two deck. So that's pretty pretty easy to do. Okay. And so Victory managed to take the Trial Boss. Congratulations there. And let's see. So two more. And let's see. We're going to go with... Um, Let's see who is the next person. So Robert uh, Desarn, we're gonna take a look at Count Ashley Diamond. Count Ashley Diamond without the E. So let's see. Let's see what deck you're you're going with here. Uh, so new team that looks similar to what I have <laughs> so that is an interesting deck right there and also one with hell uh, that also uses abyss lord nodens which creates four power gen force okay so this is your uh, power gen four spawner to to power up hell that's that's cool um, so Here's a here's the thing, right? Like when I when I see people like you've already if you've already put in cards like that to uh, to help out Hell or or Soul Reaper, it, it feels like you already kind of know what you are doing. So I, I feel like I'm not sure if I'll be able to add uh, too much to that uh, since you've already uh, got a good sense of what's going on there. And so I think really you're not depending on any skill points, and so mixing a uh, commander card in there isn't uh isn't a bad thing and you are you have a car that can create power gen force which is good and so i think in this case you just need to make sure that you don't use this card as leader so the problem here is this card is going to give you uh guild versus guild um boost but not in event and so if this is the deck that you want to go with then i would put in um I will put in the Militant Maven in in place of a Nuna Conjurer. And the other thing here is the Militant Maven creates gems. So what you've got here is, let's say, four plus how many power gems do you get here? This might actually not be a bad option. So four plus three. So seven plus four, that's 11, plus another four, that's 15 and then 12, 27. So you're gonna get 27 power gems here, not too bad. Um, whereas you might wanna balance, see if there's a, see if it makes a difference between using the Milton Maven or Cheetah, uh, just to see if filling up the board will actually make a difference in terms of damage output. But for sure, you need to make a swap so that this is not your leader right here. You're you're losing all of your uh, boost, so you're you're not gonna get the the kind of damage you're looking for. Unless that's not the team, but based on what I'm seeing here, uh, this is this is the recommendation I would make. All right, so uh, last one, 
and I guess that's going to be uh, queen 2 one 2 e so this is going to be the last one for the night I apologize to everybody who has been waiting um, but let's go with queen here queen 2 one 2 Eve queen 2 one 2 Eve right Queen two one two Eve and not finding you. Two one two Eve. Are you sure it's not just Queen Eve two one two? As you originally have uh, put in there. So I think it's Queen Eve two one two. All right, so let's take a look here. So I see you have Freedom Fighter, and you have the Grandier Luden. And Bio Blitzer. The problem right now is you have all these cards that create power gems, but you don't have a card that can really sort of give you that, um, give you that last oomph, so to speak. So let's see if we have anything that we might do to help you with that. And so, Soul Reaper is going to be very important for you so right now it creates five and an additional five um, if you have power gem fours on the board so at six stars it turns into six power gems and so even though it's only a five star it's going to be worth it and so what you want to do is you actually want to take out well, if you were to take out one card in here i suppose i would take away Hylic. So I would probably take away Hylic and put in a five star Soul Reaper. You heard it here uh, for this purpose because I think you're going to power up your Freedom Fighter that much more uh, with that option. And if you can get it to six stars, that's going to be even better. So that would be the option I would go with. Uh, definitely give that a try. All right. So that's going to be it for uh, for the deck building here. I just want to make sure that I uh, answer any questions, outstanding ones uh, that are here. So let's take a look here. And Devil's Death finally made it to a live event. Sorry I missed your message, but thanks for joining here. So now Fanwar, you just pulled an Eternal Blade. Congratulations. I actually want another one. I would love to get a second one if that's possible. Uh, the problem with that is the deck takes too many turns to get Slayer points. Yeah, so that's the thing is, you know, um, for Slayer events, you kind of want to go fast. And I guess, you know, the last few minutes here, I'm just going to take a look at my... Take a look at my, my bosses here and see what we've got going on. All right, so we'll take a look here and I'll show you, you know, just the deck I'm using and also um, what I change here. So I actually put in my MC. So if you're going up against a ultimate boss, all you have to do is put in Lafer. Lafer is going to be the best card for you to put in uh, this in this case, just because um, it's a it's a Slayer card and also it heals. So this is the card that you want to use, and this is this is all the this is really all you need for your setup here. And um, what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and play this right here. So I'm going to show you how this works. When you're playing against ultimate boss, here is a trick. So I always what I always do with the with the boss, I think level four, level five onwards, where they don't die after one shot, is uh, I would actually after doing my um, my gem matches, I look for a way to try and get an off color power gem. And so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and create this. So by creating an off color power gem, what I can do here is I can activate everything and I will have this one power gem that's left over that will not be uh, converted to a dark power gem. And that allows me to save time so that I could get the uh, clock stopped and then move on to the next attack as quickly as possible. So typically, when I'm up against a much higher level uh, ultimate boss, I can usually get at least 30, 40 uh, turns in there. Um, and sometimes I can do maybe three three turns within a second of a game clock. And so I can do I can, I can actually do quite a bit uh, in there. And then I time it so that I actually start a timer and say, okay, after four minutes or four and a half minutes, I quit out no matter what I'm doing and then I jump into the boss again. So one thing you may not realize is you can actually enter a 
ultimate boss with maybe just 10 seconds remaining and you'll have the full game clock to play through. So if that takes you five minutes, then that's fine. You will not time out of the ultimate boss. And that is the key to success here if you wanna actually fight a high level ultimate boss is to do, do as many attacks as you can, but make sure it does not draw out. You want to be, you want to make sure you have a fresh 20 second game clock um, near the end so of the, of the five minute timer. So you can get that one last full attack in so you can ensure uh, success for your ultimate boss. So that's if you're going after the bosses, that will be the tip for, for the day, okay? And so Carius, Midnight, thank you so much for joining here for support. I know it's late. I appreciate everybody who's waking up early and sleeping late just to join the uh, to join the stream here. And hopefully the, you know, hopefully the, the recommendations I made here has uh, helped you a bit. And uh, do you want, I didn't see yours at all. I'm sorry. Uh, so message, message me in the, message me in the, the app afterwards. And what I'll do is I will take a look at your deck and I will give you recommendations. So anybody, anybody else who's just joined us uh, here and I wasn't able to help you, apologies, but uh, message me in network app. Let me know what you're working with and I will, uh, I'll, you know, I'll take a look at your cards and I'll give you recommendations there uh, offline after the stream. And so let's take a look here. So Yvonne Wheeler, so that was your first long time watcher, first time in the chat here. So thank you so much for the support. Thanks. Uh, thanks everybody. And what do I think about the, what do I think about the radiance with limited keys? Oh my gosh. Um, Take a look. I'll show you what I what I'm going what I'm doing right now. So if you take a look at my uh, my quests, okay. I have a total of I think four challenge bosses I've taken out. Or actually, I've taken out yeah four challenge bosses, and I've only taken out two radiance because I don't get any radiant bosses spawning, and that is a really frustrating thing for me. Uh, I really liked radiance. So that, that's the one boss that I would, you know, I would actually tag a Radiant boss that I spawn and just give it to my friends or my guildmates who I think need a little bit more, uh, you know, boost in their trophies. But now I can't. So I can't actually, I can't rally them. So that's annoying. And they never spawn for me. And so you can see here, I've got, you know, I got this right here. So I guess I as well use my keys to uh, take it out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm, what I'm doing here. So I don't really like it. I, I I mentioned this before, and I just don't like the fact that it, you know, it, it just takes away sort of that, you know, takes away that fun factor, you know. So uh, I, I don't I don't really enjoy that. So uh, Frank Manfeld, welcome from uh, hello from Germany and uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. And we're going to go up against a uh, six trillion challenge boss right now. Again, I'm a little annoyed that it's not a uh, it's not a radiant boss because I can't get my quest points because of it, and so that's the one thing that I feel like they missed a mark on. Like they they make you go through limited keys for these challenge bosses, but they don't actually give you the bosses to actually be able to fight it. So like I have not spawned a um, I have not spawned any radiant bosses. And it's just such a waste of key for me to just simply zero attack. So for me, I just kind of feel like, uh, you know, I I, um, I don't want to waste my key. And at the same time, it's just, you know, I, I can't do anything about that. All right. So if you're going up against a challenge boss, you notice that I'm also going up against a um, a really annoying counterattack. So with this particular deck with a Bio Blitzer, it will actually clear it every four turns, which actually works really well because the timing is that every four turns, I'll be able to activate everything uh, to do my damage. And so you'll notice that even though I still have one more turn of counterattack left, I actually cleared it so that I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't get uh, get affected by the counterattack because that is strong enough to actually uh, defeat me. And so I, I, I want to make sure that I don't die. So the key here is I, I play a little bit slow just to make sure that I don't accidentally do a gem match. And then I clear it so that I could actually um, my do attack there. Because if I if I get counterattacked, it will actually take my health out. And I think this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be sufficient for me to take the dust after. I actually forgot to activate my um, my Master Collection card, but I sh I th that should be okay. So this is the challenge boss, and this is basically the power of the Bio Blitzer deck, 
right? So it's just, you know, this is the... This is the reason why when these kind of decks come along, I recommend you guys to get it because you can see that, you know, it's not in its own event. It didn't have a killer bonus, but I was still able to take out a six trillion boss just because of that. And so it's, you know, it's just really, uh, you know, the, the deck that I don't, I don't see ever going away from me. I'm just going to keep building on that. So I, I consider myself very lucky to have gotten it. And so, but, you know, the, the point here really isn't to say, oh, you need, to, everybody needs to, to spend money and get this deck, because I was lucky there, but I think there's a lot more options, like Soul Reaper, if it ever becomes available, it's going to be the card I'm going to recommend all the time, because uh, it's going to be tremendously helpful for your Dark Slayer, uh, Slayer, Slayer decks. And so hopefully this has been helpful for everybody, and... Um, and also a froggy on uh, froggy on four seventy nine. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, so <laughs> Thursday, Rich will get off work to the stream. Thanks very much, everybody. And uh, so alternate image gaming. This applies to all bosses. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if what, what the um, what the context is in that question. Um, but you know, let me know what, what your thoughts are. So that's pretty much where I think what you know what I think about this change. I hope that they change it. I hope that they tweak it or they do something. Either keys need to be there needs to be a lot more bosses, a lot more keys, or the bosses need to appear a little bit more frequent. Like you can see here, this entire time that I've been here, uh, I see other people you know spawning challenge bosses, and I'm not gonna spend my keys to take out their challenge boss. I want to spend keys to take out my radiance. I want to be able to take out the radiance so I can get my quest, or I want to just ultimately be able to rally my guildmates or my friends. And I can't do that. Um, cobalts are dying left, right, and center now. It, it's one of those things where I enter a cobalt boss and it dies. And so I've gotten to the point where I simply just zero tag because I also feel bad if I snipe other people's, uh, you know, cobalts. So I just try to get my 15% or I just, you know, zero tag and I move on. Um, I actually am getting most of my points just from ultimates. So you can see I'm at, um, I am at currently 11 billion. Uh, billion points and i'm comfortably in fourth place right now and that's just two uh two sessions of ultimate bosses that i took out so it, it, it's you know slayers is really not the same this way it, everybody else who don't have the cards they're not going to be able to get trophies because they can't even get through the trial boss so for me that makes me sad and so you know that is one thing that i hope that we could tweak and, and, and make it you know uh, make it easier for everyone to get the trophies and just have fun and play and and be competitive uh, right now as it stands right now it feels like it's not easy and so uh, i do i do feel it for for all of you who um who are, who are struggling so that's why i do this so that i can help you guys with the with the decks and hopefully make it better so that's all for uh for me here and i guess alternate image gaming i can join frenzy bosses last second of 12 for example very much yeah so yeah for all bosses you can do that any any time boss it used to be that you would join in and you would time out now you can just join in any boss at any time and you can have the full 20 second game clock to be able to actually um to be actually uh, uh, uh you know do your damage there so I think that's, that the delay may be like a few seconds. I, I thought I had set this to be like uh, low latency, so it should be really close from chat to uh, to stream, but uh, it could be it could be a few seconds delayed there. All right, so um, you're dropping fast because of the, yeah, so that's that's the thing, right? So like people who can't get through the trial boss, who can't get the, the ra uh, radiance and challenges, uh, that's the thing. So um, yeah, that's the feedback we got to give. You know, this is for, for those of you who, who can't get through, it's going to be a difficult uh, event. Understand that. But then the goal is let's try and get, get through the trial boss if we can. So I'm going to think about some deck ideas. Send me your ideas as well. Put in the put in the comments below. Do me a favor. Put in the comments like the teams that you used in order to take out the trial bosses. And let's help each other get past it. Uh, we can share them in my chat room as well on network app. Uh, just let's, let's communicate as much as possible like how we actually got through it so that we can give people more info. All right. And so that is all for uh, for me for today. I went a little bit over, but I wanted to make sure I have this conversation with you guys. So thanks a lot for joining. And uh, so Juwan, just go ahead and message me in Network App or uh, give me your inky name in the comments below and I will uh, reach out to you afterwards. So thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for uh, for a great stream as usual. And we will, uh, we will definitely have another conversation next week on Tuesday or I will have a video uh, to come out. So don't know if there's going to be a starter pack so not sure uh, what the goal, what 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 they're uh, you know what they're thinking in terms of whether it's gonna be a starter pack or not. So we'll have to keep keep our uh, eyes out tomorrow or Saturday. All right. So thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good evening, and I'll see you next time. All right. See ya.